All right, welcome to part three of the chandelier modeling. We just got done creating the connectors and the extender, and then we duplicated our connector. Now we just got to create this part for the light. Oh, we have a little duplicate floating around the place. So we're going to delete that one. Okay, so now we're going to use a another cylinder. Do I want to use a cube or something? I think this will be decent. All right, and we're going to put this in the center of our object. Let's say about right there. There we go. So a little intersection is not bad. And we're just going to do circle selection to edit. Ed, I mean, <clears throat> edit this part. And I'm going to scale this in. And it is chamfered. Uh, slightly and I'm going to change that to smooth for shading all right so now we're going to bring it to about midway extrude it have it be constrained and now we're going to just try to eyeball it a bit bevel. Some bevel will definitely help um, soften some of your edges if they're looking a bit weird. Alright, and let's apply a what you call them. And we're going to do the exact same thing here. And the bottom, you won't be seeing that. up here at the edge of the thing center. Let's see how that turns out. Um, it's mixed results. It's kind of flat actually. So I'm going to add that edge back. And it seems as though in this part it does come in, does come down. So we're going to go in the front view and make the uh, add changes. Let's say a little bit of a bevel. And then let's change that to about two for modifier. And you know, just add a couple edges to just balance out the shape. Alright, that looks good. And for the bottom, this is just for, just for me. I'm just going to add another edge to kind of complete it. And I'm going to add one in the center. Maybe three is decent for me. Alright, that looks good. So now we're going to move on to modeling the light. Now hopefully, yes I do. I do have a, a decent image where I can trace the uh, outline. Oops. Yeah, trace the outline. Let me see. Uh, where is it? Right here. Um, yeah. 
All right, so that looks good enough to bring in here. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm going to go to a new layer and I'm gonna drag that very same image. Uh, where is it? Which one? Oh, okay, there we go. Select that same image, bring it in here. It's in the center, so now I'm going to bring in a plane to cursor there we go so I'm delete I'm going to edit I'm gonna <clears throat> tab into edit mode select everything delete vertices and then I'm just going to trace this so I'm gonna trace it from about the center uh, there we go and then I'm just going to trace my way all the way down depending on how many vertices you add, the smoother the surface is going to look. But but for me, I'm not going to add I'm not going to add too much. All right, so now these vertices in the center, we want those to be flush. So we're going to zero them out on the X. Now To get this to work, we're going to use the spin feature. You select everything, go into your top view, because it depends on your viewport on how it's going to work, and hit spin. And we're going to spin this 360 degrees. All right, excellent. So now, I mean, we're gonna fix this. We're gonna smoothen it. Now it's kind of bluish because the normals are facing the wrong direction, and you press Control N to re refix the normals. So now go back into Edit Mode, Face. Now we know that it has a opening at the bottom, so we're going to follow that. Delete these faces, and we're just going to bring this out a bit. Or actually, let's delete this right here. I like that so far. And now I'm going to press M, bring this to back to layer one. <clears throat> I'm going to leave our origin at the center, so I'm going to tab into Edit Mode, select our object. And now I'm just going to match it up under our, under our object. And it seems as though our middle axis is a bit off. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's a bit off. And we got 10 vertices. I was hoping for eight. But we can, we're going to fix this right here. So we're going to delete this. And we're going to use grid fill. Oh, um, remove doubles. Yep. So now we're going to use grid fill. So what? Alright, that's a little weird. It should have worked. Let's remove doubles again. Um, that's weird. It worked last time. Control F, grid fill. Select two edge loops. Hmm. Grid fill. I've never had this problem. Now we're just going to do it the manual way. We're just going to do it the manual way. Wait, we got nine now. Hmm. All 
All right, let's stop over here. Hmm, that kind of messes up our numbers a little bit. Well, real fast, real fast. Actually, I'm gonna use a 12 is decent. So what I want to do is real fast. I'm just gonna trace over this. We already know how the shape is gonna be for our end result. That's just weird because usually that feature always works, but I'm not entirely sure. I have to do a little research on how to get that to work properly. And probably one more down there. And just scale this out a bit. Alright, now we just delete this inner part. And now we have the correct amount of vertices, 12. And then we just flip our normals. Alright, now, now we can just put it directly under. Um, with this, optimal. So now we just line it up. And then we're just going to smoothen out it. Oh, and there we go. That on. Now we're going to do the exact same thing. Um, and also add a thickness to it. With solidify. Add just a hair. I kind of like it under. All right, good. So now we're going to add that array modifier once again. And we're going to make sure we clear off our location, rotation, and scale. Now with this uh, array modifier, turn off relative. And then we're going to create another object, another empty, and we're going to call this empty um, uh, bub clone, so that we just know. So now we're going to change that to bub clone, and now we're just going to First, find our, our empty again. Uh, where is our, there we go. Go into the top view, rotate it. I must have forgot to, yep, I forgot to do this as well. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna pause the video and I'm gonna get those done real fast. Catch up, all right? All right, so now I just, off screen, I just fixed up that, that, that little issue that I forgot to do, which was do it for this um, middle part, connector head, it's a bulb head, and then the actual bulbs themselves, which is the same thing with the array modifier with the empty rotating in a certain degree and then just increase the copies all right so now 
Let's see, how much more do we have to do on our model? We have the body, we have the bolt um, connectors and the light. So for our next part, we're gonna create the light bulbs and we're going to finish off with the chain and this little screw. So that's, that's all gonna be for the next part. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I look forward to the next one.